So let's deal with the graphic arrange mode then, the gamma as it's called. Now we can turn this on, it's, it's nothing new really, it's just another way of displaying the current arrange mode. We can turn this on by pressing K on the Atari keyboard, so K, it changes the display into this. Now it's really the same thing, but just displayed differently. On the left hand side here we have continuous bar numbers, and the next lane is taken up with our chunks of music. There we have a block representing our intro pattern. We can see that it's four bars long, a chunk representing our verse section, and then the repeated verse. If I press play now from the beginning, click on the start pattern, you can see this line here following the pattern down. When it gets to the link point, we'll say jump the black, jump to the next. There we go, like so. Now, what this is useful for is actually seeing a different way of representing um, the use of more than one pattern at a time. We've so far, let's go turn K off for now, we've so far been using everything in this lane A. Now a lot of people don't understand this lane business. We have four lanes, A, B, C and D, likened on many occasions to motor motorway lanes. Let's press K on again and demonstrate how these can be used. If I create another lane here, we've got one lane here, that's A. If I create another lane by pressing the right mouse button and positioning a new pattern, next to the start. Choose a pattern number, which is going to be pattern 4, let's say. Okay, I've now got pattern 4 running alongside patterns 2, 1, and then 1 again. So we could use pattern 4, for example, for doing an improvisatory track, a busk track, or whatever, or something that might not want to be broken up by the current sectional changes we've made. So, we just select a, a track on pattern 4 here with a range mode on, choose a sound, um, let's just choose the piano for now, okay, I can press record, count in 4 beats, this is going to tick away over the pattern, Okay, so I was busting a piano line on top of that there. That is running all, all the way alongside. It's not split up into chunks. Let's just listen back to that on its own. So I can just click on 4 and press solo. Press play. Let's fast forward it a bit. There it is in all its splendor. So it's a continuous piece of music running alongside. Um, I can create a second one, a, th a third motorway lane if I want to, simply by clicking the right button again and sticking another pattern in, and I could say, right, pattern five, another chunk of music. A lot of people use these extra motorway lanes for things like volume change information, using the RMG page, the tempo changes, uh, and various things like that to separate out information. But given a total of four motorway lanes used all the way together, if each lane represents 16 tracks, so the 16 tracks in pattern 2, 16 in 4, 16 in 5, and 16 in 7, let's say, that's a total of 64 tracks. That's how you get 64 tracks from this sequence, so by having four lanes running together. I'll just turn the gam off at the moment, the graphic arrange mode off, and you can see how confusing it looks in that page. So when you're trying to do these things with running more than one pattern at a time, always use the graphic arrange mode by pressing K, and it looks a lot easier.